Hola chicos, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo están? So today I'm going to be explaining to you guys how to tell the time in Spanish, how to answer the question, ¿qué hora es? What time is it? Basically, we have two ways to start the answer when the question is, ¿qué hora es? Or at what time something is. Uh, specifically, if the question is, ¿qué hora es? The answer can begin with, es la if the time is 1 p.m. something or 1 a.m. something, or uh, son last if it's any other time that does not begin with one. So let's take a look first at los números, numbers. Uh, obviously to tell someone what time it is, we need to know our numbers in Espanol. So let's go over first numbers one through 10, then 11 to 20, and then 21 to 30. This chapter covers numbers zero to 30 first. So let's look at those. Uh, numbers one to 10. So we have uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, Yes. Okay. Now numbers 11 to 20. The clock only goes up to 12 when it comes to hours, but you do need to know uh, numbers above 20, actually up to 60 at least, right? Uh, or 59 if you want to tell somebody a specific time with minutes. But let's look at 11 to 20 now. So we have 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, so 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So with 16, you start saying it as if you were saying 10 and 6. So 17 is like 10 and 7, 10 y 7. 18, 10 and 8, 10 y 8. And then for 19, 10 y 9, like 10 and 9. Okay, and then 20. It's not 20, it's 20 because as I mentioned before, B and V have the same sound, B, so 20. Okay, very good. Now let's do 21 to 30. So for this, you just basically are gonna use the number 20 and add the number, so 21. And then the same, the same uh, pattern with the rest of the numbers, 22, 23, 24. So 21, and then just change. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. And for 30, it's 30. When you're spelling it, make sure that you pay attention to this with 30 and then for this with 20 because a lot of the time students get those mixed up. So in 20 it's EI and in 30 is, oh, perdón, 20, 30. Oh no, sorry. What I meant to say is students write it backwards. So they want to write it like this. 20, they want to write it like this. Viente. Or 30, they want to write it like this. And that would be incorrect. Okay, so be careful with that. And uh, let's see what else I need to tell you. Oh, okay. So when we're looking about when we're looking at last horas, uh, we basically are looking at the clock and we divide it in four, in quarters or fourths. Okay, so we have the clock and we divide it like this. Okay, so four pieces. Each piece is a fourth or a quarter, which in Spanish 
is the word cuarto. Cuarto, which is equivalent to a quarter of an hour, which would be 15 minutes, right? Because we have 60 minutes divided by four, 15 minutes. So it's equivalent to 15 minutos. Now, if we're looking at half of the hour, so let's say it's like 2.30, two and a half, we look at two quarters, right? So that would be uh, 30 minutos or 30 minutos. We use the word media to, um, to talk about half of the hour. Okay, so media means half. And um, so let's say it's, I don't know, two, 215, two and a quarter. We would say, son las dos y, we could say here, for 15, we could say 15, or we could also say cuarto, because they both mean the same, right? Cuarto sounds very similar to the number four, which is cuatro, but notice the spelling is different, right? In cuarto, it's RT. In cuatro, the number four is TR. So be careful with your spelling with cuatro and cuarto. Cuarto, meaning the quarter of the hour, the 15 minutes. If it's a, a time that begins with one, so like let's say one and a half, I, I would have to say not son las, but es la. Es la una y, so for 30, I could say 30 if I want, una y 30, or I could say es la una y media. Okay, so that's it for quarter and half. Now, if it's a quarter till a certain time, so like let's say it's a quarter quarter to seven, so that would be 6.45. I could say it's 6.45 if I know how to say 45 in Spanish, which I'll give you the, the word here. I could say son las seis y, 40 y cinco. Or I could also say it's a quarter to seven. So es un cuarto para las siete. Okay, that's another way. Now uh, let's talk about midday and midnight because uh, we have specific words for them, just like we do in English. So if it's midday, noon, we would say, es el medio día. And if it's midnight, es la media noche. Okay, so notice here, it's almost the same, the beginning es and es, but we do change the article the from masculine to feminine. That is because uh, dia, even though it ends with an A, is a masculine word. So we use the masculine article. So el medio dia. But noche happens to be a feminine noun. So we use the feminine article ta. So es la media noche. Okay. I could also say it's 12, 12 p.m. or 12 a.m. So for Let's say the afternoon, I could say son las doce, 12, son las doce de la tarde, okay, 12 p.m. Or son las doce de la mañana, 12 a.m. Okay. So that's another option if you prefer it. Son las 12 de la tarde o es el mediodía o es la medianoche, son las 12 de la mañana, a.m. Okay. Um, so if, uh, if you need to spec uh, say specifically that the time with minutes and it's over 30, let's go ahead and take a look at how would you say 40 something and 50 something. 
Okay, so 40, as I mentioned, as I just mentioned, let me change the color here. I'm gonna use white or let's see. Maybe black. Uh, for 40. As I said, you would say 40. 40, and then you just add the number. So 41, 41, 42, 42, 43, 44, and so forth. If you reach 50, the number is 50. 50. So 51, 51, 52, 52, and so forth. And then for 60, if you're curious, the number is 60. Okay, in another, um, another video, I will show you guys how to do numbers up to 100, but so far, you basically only need to know up to 30 for this part of the, the chapter. So, okay, guys, I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, of course, let me know. I'm happy to help, okay? Take care.